Captain America, Thor, Captain Marvel, and the Wasp arrive at Stockman's Tower, they accompany a criminal named Whirlwind. Whirlwind will be placed in prison in Zone 42. The Avengers pass through the portal and find themselves in the negative zone where the prison is located. At the entrance they are met by the Warden. The Avengers and the Warden lead the Whirlwind past the cells where other criminals are sitting. The light is flashing, but the Warden says that everything is fine. The Whirlwind is put in a cell. One of the prisoners, nicknamed Leader, screams in his cell. He warns the Avengers of an imminent attack. The light flickers again. Agent Quartermain invites the heroes to the control room. The agent reports strange flashes around the prison. The light goes out again for a few moments. At the 95th level, there is a large loss of voltage. Captain America, Captain Marvel, and Agent Quartermain head there to figure out what's going on. Arriving at the scene, they see a huge hole in the power circuits of the prison, a hole as if someone had chewed through. Thor and the Wasp also inspect the corridors of the station. In one of the rooms, they are attacked by a huge alien beetle. The heroes manage to repel the attack and the beetle runs away. A signal for help is heard on the radio from the control room and all the Avengers rush there. The control room is destroyed. The surviving fighter reports that they were attacked by a beetle and dragged away the head of the prison. Besides, the beetle damaged the airlock for returning to Earth and now it will open only when a new shift takes over. The wasp detects a bug in the cells. He is in the dining room. Everyone goes there. One of the guards reports that a large cluster of bugs has been found outside the prison. At this moment, the prison wall explodes and bugs burst into the opening. The Avengers and guards attack them. One of the bugs grabs the boss and flies into the hole. Captain Marvel flies after him. Captain America orders Thor to follow her. Outside, Carol and Thor see a huge swarm of bugs heading towards the prison. Agent Quartermain blocks the dining room door to cut off the bugs from the rest of the premises. The guard reports that there are a large number of bugs around Captain Marvel and Thor. Captain America orders his friends to retreat. The connection is interrupted and the captain wants to go to the aid of the Avengers, but Agent Quartermain does not want to open the dining room door as it is too dangerous. Then the dining room door falls. Captain Marvel and Thor are on the threshold. They manage to repel the attack. Cap believes that this is just the beginning. Agent Quartermain adjusts the scanner in the command room and reports that a huge swarm has gathered around the prison. If the Avengers do not eliminate the threat, then a new shift will meet with bugs. And then the swarm attacks the Earth. Captain America believes that it is necessary to destroy the gateway to prevent this, even if in this case the Avengers will not be able to return to Earth. Captain Marvel suggests another plan. The Avengers tell the prisoners about the threat that hangs over the prison and offer the criminals to fight together. Some of the criminals agree. Baron Zemo also wants to join the battle, but Captain America refuses to let him out, fearing betrayal. The Avengers are joined by the Executioner, Abomination, Leader, Whirlwind, Marvel, and several other prisoners. Captain America puts the fighters in position. The leader reports that the swarm is starting to attack. The bugs break down the door. The leader hears the voices of the swarm and moves aside. The bugs head to the defenders of the prison. The fight begins. The executioner and Marvel shoot the bugs with blasters. Thor uses a hammer. The captain wields a shield. The bugs stop. The leader reports that the swarm has received an order to stop. Before Avengers leader appears Roy, he shoots the heroes of the energy beam from his staff and throws them. The Beatles once again go on the attack in the battle the executioner saves Thor. Captain America orders the soldiers to retreat. Now in the fight wasp, radioactive man and the absorber, Roy breaks to cameras. The leader hears the thoughts of the leader Roy and learns that his name is Angelus. The battle is right at the camera. Bugs one by one destroy the defenders of the prison. The leader said that Annihilus commands Roy. Captain America orders the guards to retreat to the control room and to protect the gateway. Abomination decides to run away from the battlefield. The leader asks you to carry it with you in the control cabin. The Avengers attack Annihilus, but their weapons can't break through his defense. The defenders of the prison is less and less. Agent Quatermain and Captain Marvel are watching the battle from the cockpit. Quatermain decides that it's time to destroy the gateway at this moment and the cabin bursts into the abomination and the leader the leader sits at the computer captain marvel wants to stop the villains but the leader says he wants to help and disable the protection of annihilus captain marvel gives the villain two minutes and tells the avengers what you need to prepare for attack protection of annihilus subsides and the avengers rush to the attack cap and wasp hit annihilus to earth and thor hammer blow breaks the staff of 
Annihilus, Roy stops and rushes to their leader. The Beatles carry Angelus beyond the prison. The leader informs the Avengers that Annihilus embodies the chaos of the negative zone and its purpose is to destroy matter. Through the gateway comes a new changing of the guards. Captain America welcomed them. A few days have passed and Captain Marvel is flying over the Night City. She lands on the roof of a building where Iron Man is already waiting. He informs Carol that she is no longer needed by the Avengers. Captain Marvel is compensated by this fact. Iron Man attacks her. Captain Marvel releases a light charge into Iron Man's head. He shoots back. Captain Marvel falls. She sees that in front of her is not a real Tony Stark, but a robot in an Iron Man suit. Vision and a copy of Captain Marvel arrive at the scene of the fight. A neuro interface is installed by the real Carol Danvers. Vision takes Captain Marvel away. Thor is the next target, but Vision orders not to attack him without a command. Vision brings Captain Marvel to Ultron's base and places her in a special capsule. Ultron created copies of the Avengers and called them Synthesoids. He orders Vision to capture the rest of the Avengers before dealing with Thor. In the Avengers Mansion, Captain America is training. His occupation is interrupted by Hawkeye. He brought the Captain a new shield that Tony Stark made for him. This new shield can take different forms and create a force field. The Captain does not want to part with his old shield and with an accurate throw knocks the control bracelet of the new gadget off Barton's hand. And to the training the synthesoids Hawkeye and Captain America, led by Vision, burst into the hall. The androids did not expect Barton to be with Cap but decide to capture both. A fight begins. The captain fights with his double. Clint and his copy shoot arrow after arrow at each other. Vision shoots at Hawkeye with a laser beam, but the captain he covers him with a shield. Barton knocks Vision to the ground with well-aimed shots. Then he manages to tie up a copy of Captain America. A powerful explosion will be heard. Clint is paralyzed with electricity. Part of the ceiling collapses on the captain and his. Double, a neuro interface is implanted in the Falcon's eye. The Captain's double comes out of the smoke and reports that the real Cap is destroyed, only shield. The Wasp is sitting in front of the mirror. When Vision enters her room, he is ordered to capture the Wasp and not damage it. The Wasp engages in a fight with the android. Vision wounds her in the shoulder. Meanwhile, Thor flying over the city is also attacked by synthesoids in the guise of Avengers. Robots attack Thor. The God of Thunder does not understand what is happening and does not want to fight with friends. The synthesoids defeat Thor. The captain is preparing to deliver the last blow, but then a copy of Thor arrives and finishes off the real God of Thunder. Thor falls into the river. At Ultron's base, Vision looks at the unconscious Wasp. Ultron knocks Vision down with a laser shot. The Wasp wakes up and sees Ultron. Ultron wants to replace the Avengers with robots, and the Wasp's consciousness wants to be placed in an artificial body. Vision puts the Wasp in a preservation capsule. Synthesoids arrive at Ultron's base. They brought Thor's body. Ultron orders to put Thor in a capsule. The Synthesoid Captain America wants to remove the neural interface from Thor, but Ultron shoots him ultron nurses captain america was not a robot but a real captain america who pretended to be a robot but ultron immediately realized who he was ultron orders vision to kill the captain a fight begins a copy of hawkeye wants to intervene but ultron forbids he wants vision to execute the order himself the captain cannot cause serious damage to vision vision does not understand why the captain continues to fight vision hits the captain and cap falls ultron orders vision to finish off cap but the android destroys the avengers capsules with a laser beam they immediately they rush into battle the wasp destroys the neuro interface thor and the god of thunder returns his Hammer, Thor, and the Avengers destroy the Synthesoids and attack Ultron. Thor attacks first, but Ultron easily withstands the hammer blow. Ultron's body is made of adamantium, so the Avengers do not harm him. Ultron hits the Avengers one by one with laser beams. He grabs Iron Man and is going to kill him. At this moment, Ultron is attacked by Vision, Vision, becoming immaterial penetrates into Ultron's body and manages to detach Ultron's head from the body, Ultron shoots Vision in the face. With a laser, Thor blows off Ultron's head with a hammer blow, Ultron's body explodes, a fire starts on the base, the Avengers leave the base, Captain America refuses to leave Vision, even if the others are against, the ceiling it begins to collapse and one of the debris hits the Wasp, Iron Man picks it up in his arms, the Avengers run out of Ultron's base, Captain America comes out last, he carries Vision in his arms, Vision is damaged but alive. Dear friends, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, 
then put likes and subscribe to the channel. I love everyone.